Hey guys, it's Brian from guideattacking.com and welcome to a new tutorial series on the Guide Attacking YouTube channel. In this series I am going to cover manual mapping and the goal is to make a simple console based injector using C++ which manually maps a DLL into the target process. If you just want to use a manual mapping injector and you don't give a shit about coding one, you should simply visit guideattacking.com slash ghinjector to download the guide attacking injector which is a pretty fancy tool made by me. Here it has various options like manual mapping and various options to, to run the code. Anyway, let's get into the tutorial. This series will be split up in several parts in which I'll explain the different steps of manual mapping a DLL into, in depth. In this first part I'm going to cover what you have to know for the series and I'm also going to set up a basic project we'll then use in the next parts. First of all you should be familiar with C++ in general. I'm not going to cover on how, to, um, on how C++ works. You should also be familiar with Windows APIs like read process memory, write process memory, open process, etc. You don't have to know any assembly and you also don't have to know any reverse engineering. And you also don't have to know anything about the portable executable format or the PE format. Uh, and of course you'll need a C++ IDE. I'm going to use Visual Studio 2000, 2017 in German because I'm actually not a native English speaker, as you didn't notice. So, let's start off by how a basic DLL injector works. Then it's easier to understand what manual mapping really is. When you're injecting a DLL into a process, you first write the file name into the target process using write process memory. Then you can use create remote thread or anti create thread to create a new thread in the target process, with which then called load library A or load library W, depending on if you're using ANSI or Unicode. And then load library proceeds to load the DLL. This method is very simple and only requires a few lines of code, but it also has its downsides. Um, on the one hand, it's very easy to block and on the other hand, it's very easy to detect for anti-cheats. Um, Anti-cheats use functions like create tool app 32 snapshot or enum modules to, enum to enumerate modules in the process. Also, it can hook load library or LDR load DLL, which is just a subroutine of load library. And even if you cloak your module after injecting it, it, for example, by unlinking it from the process environment block or cloaking by removing the PE header, anti query virtual memory will still find your DLL because when a module is loaded using load library, it's linked in the e-process structure of the process in the kernel. So basically, as long you're in user mode, there's no way to properly hide your DLL from the kernel if it's loaded with load library. Manual mapping means that we do every important step load library does manually. The advantage is that the entity cheat can't really detect it. The module isn't linked to the process environment in the first place. And since the kernel doesn't even know the module exists, anti-query virtual memory, memory won't find anything. So, how does manual mapping work? There are a few important steps. So firstly, we load the DLL as raw data into the injector process. Then we are going to map the sections of the DLL into the target process. Then we are going to inject some shellcode into the target process and run the shellcode. The shellcode will then relocate the DLL, fix the imports, execute the local storage callbacks or TLS callbacks, and then finally it will call the DLL main. After that's done, we only have to do some cleanup, like deallocating memory in the target process, deallocating buffers, buffers in the injector. So let's get started. First of all, open the IDE of your choice. As I said, I'm going to use Visual Studio 2017. Um, then we are going to create a new project. Hit File, New and Project. And a few hours later, we are going to select, so in case you are using Visual Studio, Visual C++, General Empty Project. Select Empty Project. I'm going to call it Manual Mapping Tutorial. You can call your project whatever you want, of course. So now the project is being created. If it's done, we are go going to add a, a few files. First of all, a main.cpp. Then 
another cpp file called injection.cpp and a header file called injection.h So let's first go into injection h and include include a bunch of stuff we are going to use. Of course, we need windows.h. We'll need iostream. Iostream that we can print stuff to the console for debugging purposes. We're going to need fstream. And let me quickly check my notes. What else are we going to use? Um, I think that now we'll see then we are going to define a few structures used by the inject function so let's define a new struct and i'll call it manual mapping data. in this struct we'll need a few oh, actually let's first set up some function prototypes um a function prototype for load library Library. I'm going to use load library A. And that's instance, it's a Windows API. And it takes a const char pointer to the file name, LP library file name. Yeah. That. And we are also going to define a function prototype for get proc address, which returns. So get progress returns a far proc pointer, but we are just going to use uint pointer in this case because it's easier in the code later on. Win API and it takes an instance module and a const char pointer to the function name LP proc name. And last but not least, let's create a Function prototype for the DLL mail, DLL entry point, and the function prototype for that is bool, another win RPA call or STD call, and it takes a void pointer to the. Actually, it takes um, an H instance to the DLL, but we'll just use void instead because it's easier in the code. We are going to write HDLL, keyword, reason for call. And void to a reserve parameter we won't care about. Give the shit a little better layout because it's, it's looking ugly as fuck right now. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Great. So, the manual mapping data needs a function prototype for load library, load library A. Takes a function pointer for get proc address, p proc address. Then it needs an h instance point, an h instance for the where we store the base address of the module later on. And that's it. Perfect. Layout and we're done. Then we are going to define a function. Prototype again. We, we are going to declare a function. Let's return a bool, manual map. And this is going to use um, a handle to the target process, hproc. And a const char pointer to the DLL we want to inject. So this path is going to be a full path and no relative path. So that should be it. Oh, I forgot to include the TLS help32 header for the create snapshot. So in section.h we are going to include injection. Uh, sorry, in section.cpp we are going to include injection.h, and we same in main dots in the main file. So let's declare our entry point in main. As I said, it's just going to be a simple console application. We're also going to define um, uh, uh, the path to our DLL as a DLL file. I'm just going to call it, I'm going to use DLL file in my 
current directory. So C. Let me quickly copy the path to the to the project. This. And keep in mind, if you're declaring um, paths in C++, you have to use double slashes because one slash indicates doesn't indicate a char but a byte actually. So, and we're going to call it test ELL. Great. Um, the target process I'll call um, SF, SF rock and it's just going to be test console C. So if you're going to use this, you of course have to change this to the path to your DLL and this to the actual process name you want to inject into. In the main, we'll start off by grabbing a handle to the target process. So let's first set up. Oh, what I forgot. We have to set the process to use multibyte. It may be set to Unicode in your project, so definitely use multibyte. Anything else I have to change? Quickly check the linker option. Let's also disable incremental linking. And last but not least, make sure go to manifest and USC and change this to require admin because that way the executable will always be run as administrator. Great. So in the main, first of all, going to create process handle two. Then, wait, I forgot to actually declare it. Then set the size. Oh, max size. Size of the actual struct, because otherwise it won't work. Then create handle snapshot, h snap, create tool help, snapshot, perfect snap process. And pass uh, a, a zero for the process ID because we want to enumerate all processes. So if it's failed, if h snap return is an invalid handle value, then we're going to print the error to the console. So what's what went wrong? So the error code. Error std c out std hex or let's actually use printf it's better x and create I'll just copy the function name okay to that perhaps we snapshot failed error code And then system pause. Great. And then of course we can do zero. So if that didn't fail, you're going to use um, process 32 first. Damn it. As the handle to the snapshot, h snap. And a reference to the e32 to the process handle. While that at this process thirty two next. So if the process name uh, sorry, if not string compare um as set process name and thirty two dot as the exit file, then we know we got the correct process. So let's also declare another variable, the word ed for process ID. We are going to set ed to 32 dot uh, th32 process ID and break of course. 
After that, let's close the handle to the snapshot. Snap. And let's open the process handle. Hproc. We're going to use open process, of course. Um, process all access. We have to use um, form VM operation, VM write, VM read, VM create thread. So let's just go for process all access. Um, it doesn't have to be inheritable, so let's set this to false and pass the process ID to the user. So if hproc failed, if not hproc, let's print an error to the console again. This and change this to open process failed. After that's done, we can call the injection function. I already forgot what I called it, manual map. Okay. So it returns a bool, so if not manual map. Ach, map. Pass the process handle and pass the const char to the DLL. Yes. So if that failed, um, print f something went wrong. Better. We're going to add more checks and debug shouts in the injection, the actual manual mapping function, of course. And actually, I forgot. Should also close the process handle. We are going to return. And in case manual mapping succeeds, we also have to close the handle. And after that, let's return go. And this and perfect. Great. That's our main.cpp file. And in the next part of the tutorial, I'm going to start writing the actual manual mapping function. So stay tuned.